With just over a week before his disciplinary hearing, David Harding, the engineer who designed the failed Canterbury Television building, has quit the industry's professional body, leaving those who've been fighting for justice frustrated. Well, I'm disappointed, but he's just following suit from Alan Ray. Alan Ray gets away with it. Dave Harding gets away with it. Marianne Jackson was CTV's only employee to make it out of the building alive after it collapsed on February 22, 2011, killing 115 people, 16 of those from CTV. David Harding was the engineer employed by Alan Ray Consultants to help with the design of the building when it was built in 1986. And today, the Institution of Professional Engineers New Zealand says they received a letter of resignation from Mr Harding, leaving the IPENZ unable to make an order against Mr Harding in one of two disciplinary hearings scheduled for later this month. But Mary Ann Jackson believes those higher up the food chain are also responsible for the faulty building design. Dave Harding was just doing what he was told to do by Alan Ray, and Alan Ray needs to take responsibility for not overseeing him, and um, he put him in a far too responsible position for what he was capable of. A report by the Canterbury Earthquakes Royal Commission found the CTV building had serious design and construction flaws. It also noted Mr Harding was working beyond his competence. He was left largely unsupervised by Alan Ray, despite limited experience designing multi-level buildings. I just don't know how they, how they sleep at night. You know, why don't they just admit it, that they're in the wrong, they did the wrong thing. But resigning from IPENZ doesn't mean they've got away with it. Working with engineers from America, the police are currently investigating the collapse and are yet to release their report. I know they're not going to be off the hook. They might think they are, but they're not. Uh, they've got a long way to go yet. A group of 60 family and friends of those who lost their lives in the building will continue to fight for justice and accountability. But February 22nd will always sit in the back of the survivors' minds, especially on days like today. Different times it affects me, but today it is. And I don't know why, maybe just different times it does affect you, other, other days it's fine, but um, it's not a day that goes past that you don't think about them all. Mr Harding will still face a disciplinary hearing on July 14th regarding his reassessment for continued registration as a chartered professional engineer. Emma Cropper, CTV News.